I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a qualified physician in internal medicine. I have been practicing for last 25 years. In Stanford Hospital, I have been here for last 2 to 3 years in Kaikondrahalli. Weather fluctuations we cannot avoid. Uh, so whether it's cold weather or uh, relatively hot weather or humid weather, there will be a lot of adaptation in the body where uh, our immune system is triggered, our body metabolism or the temperature control in our body is triggered. So the body has various mechanisms to adapt to a temperature fluctuation in the environment. So cold weather as such is not bad for health. But what happens is if patient's body, uh, let's say the person's body is not able to adapt to the change in the temperatures. Adaptation means the body has to generate some heat to adapt to the cold environment or the body has to be have a change of hormones or the body will have to actually have enough nourishment to tackle cold weather then there should not be any problem but if the person is predisposed already to say allergies or the person is predisposed because the nutrition is not enough there is not much enough insulation in the body or there is some medical problem leading to uh, adaptation problem of the body to environment then definitely the patient will fall sick the patient will have problems uh, of uh, getting into the cold weather they want extra heat to be uh, generated around them like they will have warm clothes they will have to have a room temperature regulator they will have to take excessive uh, drinks which are will warmer and uh, more in temperature there are various ways why how people adapt to a cold weather uh, not necessarily that the cold weather will cause bad health.